61. At 710, Ed Stewart introduces Top of the Pops with David Essex, the Stylistics, and David Soul. Then at 7.40, a fancy dress party for June and Terry. I could be Casanova. <laughs> well, who would I be? Well, I'm friend. <laughs> at 8.10, trouble for Matt when the boat comes in. Matt uh, tells me he's considering you for the post of assistant secretary. Could do a lot worse. He told me something else and all. All right. He's scared of you. Says you think too big. Too big for what? For a local union man. He thinks you'd be better off as a politician. At 9.25, Cannon. Susie, yesterday a man was found shot to death. He died while trying to write your father's name. The police are looking for your father. The police? At 10.15, Great Writers. Novelist V.S. Pritchett looks at the life and works of Honoré de Balzac. Tonight, at 11.15, talks to the new primate of all Ireland about the future of Northern Ireland. Programmes for Thursday on BBC One. Well, now on BBC One, a Tomorrow's World special. Michael Rodd and William Woolard review the progress made during the first 20 years of the Space Age and look ahead to Tomorrow's Universe. Tonight we're taking you on a space odyssey, a journey beyond the Earth's atmosphere that's got something of everything. A bit of fantasy, could we ever travel through man-made black holes into a different universe? And a bit of speculation, how long before we send the first settlers to live in outer space? A touch of fear, as the space equivalent of the Cold War hots up. And a piece of rather more down-to-earth exploitation, as the space shuttle takes off. It all started 20 years ago with this. The signals sent by the world's first man-made satellite, Russia's Sputnik 1. Made of aluminium, just 54 centimetres in diameter, this tiny silvered moon reached a height of nearly 600 miles and orbited our world once every 96 minutes.